Hi there, everyone. Welcome to yoga. I'm so happy to be able to do this. I miss you terribly. So um, I'm not gonna talk about that too much because I certainly don't wanna get emotional, but um, I'm thrilled to be able to do this. We're gonna do kind of a mixed yoga session. We're gonna do some beginning, some moderate, and then for some of you power people out there, out there I'll also offer a few strong things. So come into, on your mat, on your rug, whatever's comfortable for you. Come into a comfortable seated position. If you can cross your legs, do that. If you need to take your legs out, do that. My name is Sandy, which I know almost everybody. Um, I ran into one of you at the store and they said I look like a different person with my hair long, but it's me. Anyway, let's begin. Comfortable seated position. Good, and just roll your shoulders back. Close your eyes. And we're gonna begin just by relaxing and grounding, centering, which can be somewhat challenging right now. Just soften, soften your lips, your cheeks, your jaw. Let your eyes be gently closed. Your shoulders are back, but roll down. And just take a moment and focus on your breath. Feel your breath from your nostril down your throat. And then feel it as it returns through your throat, out your nostrils or your mouth. Just a couple of easy breaths. And just acknowledge for the next 30 minutes The only thing you really have to think about or be aware of is your body relaxing, connecting to your mind and your spirit. See if you can let all those other things go, all the worry, all the angst. Take a deep breath. If it's comfortable for you to inhale through your nostrils, do that. And then exhale out your mouth. And then let's drop our chin to your chest. Take your head back and forth slightly, just like you would if you were gonna shake your head no. Make sure your jaw is relaxed, your teeth are separated slightly. And then bring your head right back up. Good. And then go ahead and just blink your eyes open. Pull your arms, your elbows into your torso. Good. Let your hands be light. Try not to, if you fist it, just be aware of the tension in your fist. Make sure you're not gripping that death grip. Just relax. Bring your shoulders up, up to your ears, and then roll those shoulders back. As you roll back, bring your shoulder blades together and then pull those shoulders down. Take it forward again, right back up to your ears. Take it back, shoulder blades together. Good, down and around, right back up. Take it back, down and around, and relax. Good, and let's take our right arm up to the sky. Reach up and then pull that arm back. Let's do a full range of motion with that shoulder if you can. Good, if you need to modify now, just keep it like this. But if you can take it all the way up, bring it around for two, all the way up, full circle, for three, and relax. Let's do the left arm, up to the sky, bring it back, down and around, right back up, down and around. Last one, up, and back. And then let's continue to move down the body as we warm up. Let's work on our back, loosening up our back slightly. We're gonna do cat and dog, also called cat and cow. Take your hands to the front of your knees. You're gonna pull on those knees. You're gonna take your chest forward, arch your back, elbows wide, deep breath. And then exhale, round it, pull that belly back. Round your spine, blow that air out. 
Inhale forward. Back is arched. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Then come right back up. Then let's go ahead and bring both feet out. Your feet are going to be about hip width. You're going to take your hands back behind you. Your hands should be, your wrist should fall directly below your shoulders. You can palm it, fingers any direction that feels good for you. You can also fist it if you need to. So take it down, press down on your feet, lift your hips up. See so if you can lift, lift, breathe. You do not have to hang your head back. See how my head's still up? And breathe. On the next breath, see if you can pull those knees together slightly. And then right back down. Good. Pull those knees into your chest and just give yourself a hug. Hug those knees. You can bring your chin, your forehead, your nose to your knees. And then right back up. Take your hands back behind you again. Same thing. Reverse tabletop. Press into those feet. Press into your hands. And lift. Good. Breathe. Think about if you had a glass of tea, you want to be able to set it on your tummy. Bring that tummy up. And right back down. Good. And then let's transition over to tabletop. So you're going to transition onto your hands and your knees. Good. If you've got wrist issues, you can double a towel or a mat under those wrists. If you put it under the palm of your hand, your fingers are lower, it's better for your wrist. Take care of your knees if you need to put padding under those knees. Let's start with bird dog. Take your right leg straight out. Good. And then take your left arm out and breathe. Bring it right back. Take that left leg back. Point those toes. Stretch it out. Right arm forward. And breathe for three. And then right back down. And then let's do a puppy stretch. Puppy stretch is where you're going to walk your hands forward. You're going to drop your head, your neck, your shoulders. Open up that chest. Good. You can rest your forehead on the mat. Good. Roll those shoulders out. And breathe. And then press into the ground, come right back up. And then let's go ahead and take your seat all the way back to your heels for child pose. Come down, arms can be by your sides. You can rest your head on the mat either side or the front. You can also take your arms forward if you'd like. And just relax. As you breathe, drop your seat closer to your heels. And then let's come right back up, back into tabletop, and then let's do our first down dog. Turn your toes under, take your seat to the sky, come all the way up. And then just pedal those feet. You want to pedal those feet, stretch out your legs, move your hips. Good, side to side. You're in an upside down V here. Think about your tailbone as the top of that V. So pull that tailbone up. Easy, roll those shoulders out. Bring those knees right back down to the floor. Step back into child pose. Take it all the way down. Good. And relax. And then let's come right back up. One more time. Back into down dog. Good. Turn those toes under, seat to the sky. You're in your upside down V. Take that right leg straight up to the sky. Strong and straight. Good. Stretch it out. And let's breathe for three. Bring that right foot back down. And then take that left foot up. Stretch it out. Point towards the sky. Bring that left foot back down. And with your feet about hip width, slow and easy, start to bring those knees down. 
But when you get to the place where your shins are parallel to the floor, stop. And then take it right back up. Pull those heels down. Good. Come right back. Start to bring those knees down. Stop. Come right back up. Shift your weight back. Pull those heels down. It's okay if they don't get all the way down. Come right back. Slowly bring it down. Back up. Pull those heels down. Good. Let's do one more. Bring it down. Right back up. Pull those heels down. Good. And then pedal those feet. Just pedal those feet. Good. Move your hips side to side. And then slow and easy, walk those feet forward, take your time, come all the way forward, and then once you're forward, just relax in your fold, relax in your fold. Knees are soft. And then come halfway up with a flat back. Take your hands either to your shins, your thighs, or your waist. Good. Flatten that back. Stay right there. And then fold again. And then with really soft knees, let's do reverse swan dive. Slowly bring yourself up. Take your time. Palm to palm. And then hands to your heart. And then just relax. Shake those hands out. Good. And then let's do let's do a sun salutation. We'll do some of the warrior poses. So begin at the front of your mat. Come to the front of your mat. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Halfway up with a flat back. And fold again. Now we're going to step back into plank. You can do traditional plank if you'd like, where your body's in a straight line from your shoulders to your heels. If that does not work for you, it's a strong pose, and you want to modify, come to your knees. You can come to your knees with me. Keep those elbows rolled in tight, and then just slowly bring yourself down. Push yourself forward and up for up dog. Good. Bring those feet down. Turn those toes under. Seat to the sky for down dog. Deep breath. Pull that tailbone up. Then let's take that right leg straight up to the sky. Then let's bring it front and forward to the center of your mat. Take your time. Walk it up however you need to get it there. Rotate on the ball of that left foot. Ground that left foot. It's going to come down at an angle. You want your right heel lined up with that left arch. Your right knee is bent. Good. Then you're going to turn your torso towards that right knee. Sweep both arms up to the sky for warrior one. And breathe. And then let's do a quarter turn towards the inside of your hips for warrior two. Take your gaze to the right. Palms can be down or up. Then let's take that left hand forward, right beside your right. So now your torso twisted again. You're facing that right knee. Take your right palm back. This is called reverse warrior two. Open up those palms. Bring that right hand back again. Good. Then you're going to take your right elbow, bring it down to the top of that right thigh. You're going to rotate that left shoulder around. Take your left arm up and stretch it over. Let it rest on your ear if you'd like. Palm towards the floor. Good. And breathe. This is side angle pose. You want to come into a straight line if you can from your left fingertips all the way to that left foot. And then bring that left hand down to the back of that left thigh. You're going to start to straighten this right leg, but not all the way. Then bring your right arm up and stretch it over. Press this right rib cage out. And 
in and slowly bend that right knee again. Bring your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. Bring it all the way down so your right shoulder is on the inside of that right knee. And you're going to open up your chest. Bring that left arm up for dragonfly. So you want to stack your shoulders, your left shoulder stacked on top of your right. Take that left hand down. You're going to torso twist slightly over that right thigh. You're going to do reverse dragonfly. Bring that right arm up. Then bring that right hand back down. So your right hand is on the outside of that right foot. Your left hand is on the inside. From this position, I want you to rotate on the ball of that left foot. Rotate on the ball of that left foot. Good. Then slide that left foot back. Come down onto that left knee. If you need to pad that with a towel or double your mat, make sure you do that. So you're going to come up to the top of this right knee for low lunge. So your left leg is to the left, your right is to the right. They're no longer lined up. Good. Adjust if you need to. Find your comfortable place there. Find your balance. And then sweep both arms up to the sky. Good. Breathe. Take your gaze up if that's comfortable. Then let's do goddess arms. Arms out to the side. Then take your torso forward. Let the right side of your chest rest on your right thigh. Bring your arms back, palms towards the sky. Then bring both arms forward, adjacent to your ears, palms towards the floor. A little bit of lift here. Then bring both hands down. Turn those left toes under. Pick that left knee up. You want to protect that knee. And you're going to swing that right leg back, and you're right back into the dog. Stretch everything out. Pedal those feet if you'd like. Move your hips. Then slow and easy, walk those feet forward. Relax in your fold. Let your whole upper body just hang in the inversion. The knees are soft. Halfway up to the flat back. And fold again. Then reverse swan dive. Slowly knees are bent. Bring yourself up. Take your time. Palm to palm. And into your heart center. And relax. Good. Shake it out. It's always okay to stop and drink water if you'd like to. Good. And then let's do a sun salutation. We'll do the same series on the other side. So again, come to the front of your mat. Feet are side by side. Take a moment and just feel the ground under your feet. Come up those legs. If you can find your thigh muscles, pull those thigh muscles up. Off the knees. Sweep your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, fold. Halfway up on the flat back. And fold again. Step back into plank. Traditional plank. You're in a straight line from your shoulders to your heels. Good. It's a strong pose. If you want to modify, you can join me to your knees. Elbows are rolled in. Slowly bring yourself down. Push yourself forward and up. For up dog. Good. Bring those feet down. Turn those toes on your seat to the sky for down dog. And breathe. Take that left leg straight up to the sky. Strong and straight. Then bring that left foot front and forward to the center of your mat. Walk it up. Take your time however you need to get it there. Then you're going to rotate on the ball of that right foot. Ground that right foot before you come up. Come up to the top of that left knee. Find your balance. 
Go turn your torso so you're facing that left knee. Sweep your arms up to the sky, warrior one. Then let's take our arms out wide, warrior two, gaze to the left. Take your right arm, torso twist slightly, bring it adjacent to your left. Good, stretch those arms out. You're still facing forward. Take your left hand, rotate it back. Let's do reverse, warrior two. Bring that left hand forward. Good, now you're gonna torso twist slightly. You're gonna pull that right shoulder back. You're gonna bring that left arm down to the top of that left thigh. Bring your right arm up and over. Good, stretch it out. This is side angle pose. See if you can create a straight line from your right fingertips back to that right heel. And breathe. Then you're gonna slowly come up, start to straighten that leg, bring your right hand to the back of that right thigh, bring your left arm up, and stretch it over. Stretch up that left rib cage. And then bring it right back down. Good. And then we're gonna slow and easy, Bring both hands down to the mat. Good, you're gonna rotate on the ball of that right foot and you're gonna slide that right foot back. You're gonna come down onto that right knee. We're gonna do low lunge. Good, find your balance. Make sure to pad this knee if you need to. Good, you want this thigh to be at an angle so you're not directly on that kneecap. Good, find your balance here. Good, you're gonna to face towards that left knee, sweep your arms up to the sky. Take your arms out wide, goddess pose. Then take your torso forward, left side of your chest, rest on your left thigh, take your arms back, palms towards the sky. Bring both hands forward, adjacent to your ears, palms towards the floor, you lift slightly, this is humble warrior. Bring both those hands down. Good, and then turn that right foot under, turn those toes under, take your right knee, bring it up, and then bring that left foot back, come back up into down dog, stretch it out. Good, pedal those feet. Good, move your hips. Good, you can move your shoulders here a little bit if you'd like. And then let's come down to our knees and relax in child pose. Take your arms back this time to give your shoulders a break. Go take them all the way back and just relax. Knees can be together here, but if you want to try it, sometimes it feels good to separate. You can drop your chest slightly more. And then bring those hands back. Good, come right back up into tabletop. Good, turn those toes under, seat to the sky, right back up into down dog. Good, we're gonna work on balance a little bit, but let's do one more. Right leg up to the sky, strong and straight. Bring that right knee front and forward towards your left elbow. Little twist here, and back to the sky. Bring it down again, right knee towards your left elbow, and back to the sky. Last one. Bring it forward, left elbow, and to the sky. Bring it back down, take a breath. Left leg straight up to the sky. Bring that left knee front and forward towards your right elbow, and back to the sky. One more towards the right elbow, and back to the sky. Last one. 
right elbow, and to the sky. Bring it right back down, come down to your knees, relax and chuckle. And then let's come right back up. Now, let's work on our balance. So turn those toes under, seat to the sky, come all the way up, stretch it out. Slowly walk those feet forward. Relax in your fold. Good, soft knees here. And then slowly reverse swan dive, take your time. Let your head be lax. Palm to palm and to your heart. Good, and then just relax. And then let's start, let's start with our basic balance that we do for 30 seconds. So the first thing I want you to do, and I know everybody's in a different environment, but I want you to find a focal point. So look out and down. For me, it's probably about eight feet, but there's no magic to how far it is. Just let it be natural for you. Look out and down. You don't want to drop your head like this. Once you find that focal point, just lock your gaze on it. Good. Then just note you can move your arms any way you need to to adjust here to be able to help with the balance. And let's start by pressing the right foot into the floor. Good. And I want you to simply lift that left heel. Find that focal point. Good, arms are out. Then I want you to slow and easy, lift that left knee forward. Good, you can point those left toes. And then let's hold this for about 30 seconds. If you have to come down, that's okay, come down. Hold your focus though. Twenty-five and thirty. Good. Check it out. Good. You can use the same focal point for the other leg or not. I'm trying not to touch my face, and I just did. I hope you're doing well. Good. Don't touch your face. Good. Press that left foot down. Focal point again. Find it. Good. Lift that right heel. Feel the ground under that left foot. Under your toes, under the ball of your foot, under your heel. Good. Use your arms to help you. Bring that knee up. Point those toes and breathe 30 seconds. Twenty-five and thirty. Good. Forgive me if it's a little bit off. Seconds here and there. I do it with my breath. And then I want you to take your legs out wide. Take your legs out wide. Turn your toes out slightly. Good. Soft knees. Make sure your knees are following your toes. Good, and just take those knees out, and I want you to see if you can just come straight down. Think about an elevator. You're gonna come straight down. Knees go out over your toes. Your legs are a little wider than a mat if you're standing this way. Good, bring it down, bring it down. Good, head is up. Bring your arms up. Good, you can bring them all the way up into goddess if you'd like. Bring that right heel up, bring it down. Left heel up, bring it down. Just see if maybe you can bring both heels up. Try it, try it. You may go deeper into the squat. Breathe. And then slowly come back down. Good, check those legs out. Then let's do, let's do our warrior three balance. So we're gonna step front and forward with your right foot 
You're going to step back with your left, back into your warrior stance. Your heels lined up with that arch. Right knee is bent. Turn your torso forward. Both arms are going to come forward. Go to find that focal point. So look out and down. Press into that right foot. And then before you do anything else, rotate on the ball of that left foot. Good. So now your left heel is up. Good. Both sets of toes are facing forward. And just see, even if you just lift a fraction of an inch, bring it up. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Try it. Bring it up. Breathe. And then let's take it right back down. Good. Shake it out. And then let's do the other side. So watch your self-talk, regardless of how you did on that side. Sometimes all of a sudden one side is much different than the other. Good. Come into your warrior stance. Right foot is, is on an angle. Left foot is flat. Left knee is bent. Come into warrior one. Bring those arms up. Then bring both hands down. Good. Your palms are towards the floor. You're going to rotate on the ball of that right foot. Part of that rotation also allows you to press into that left foot. Let that left foot be your anchor. Find your focal point. Good. Slow and easy. Start to lift. You can just lift slightly, bring it back down. You want to balance again. Take your time. Easy, bring it up. Focus. And then slowly bring it back down. Go ahead and check it out. You may have one side that's a lot more challenging than the other. That one was challenging for me. Then let's do, it's 1030. So we need to start to wind up. But just sweep your arms up to the sky. Inhale up. Good. And then take your arms out wide. Take your legs out wide. Good. Same thing with your feet again. Soft knees. And I want you just to take the meaty part of your palm and place it in your back. Good. Fingers are down on your seat, your thumbs on the outside, so just like this. Then soft knees here. And I just want you to lean back. Not your head now. Not your head. My head is still forward. Just lean back. Push those hips forward, just like you were going to do a back bend. And breathe. And then slowly come back up. Good. And then let's counter stretch that, and then we're going to come down on our mat. So you're going to sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Good. All the way down. Take a deep breath. See if you can drop your head slightly more. Bend your knees here. Bend your knees. Don't block your knees. Some of you may want to take it a little further and bring it down. You certainly don't have to. Good. You decide. It's okay to Stay like this. If you want to come down to your forearms, you can. Deep breath. Deep breath. One more. And then bring those hands back. Press into those hands. You can bring your head up slightly. Heel toe those feet back together. Good. And then take your time. Knees can be on the inside of your arms or the outside. Whatever feels best for you. Slowly see if you can come down. It's okay if your heels come up. Good. Bring yourself up. Support yourself. And slowly come back to your seat. Good. Lie all the way down on your mat. Pull those knees to your chest. Good. See if you can let go of anything that may still be going on in your lower back. Release. Relax. If you want to take your legs out wide, you can. Bring your feet up. Happy baby. Pull those knees in. Check in with that lower back. If you want to take it a step further, hands can come up to the insides, to your toes, to the outside. And then bring those feet right back together, those knees together. Take your feet straight. 
straight up. Straight up. Arms down by your sides, palms are down. Good. Let your hips do the work here. See if you can let those legs stay straight up, but relax at the same time. See if you can pretend like somebody's holding on to your toes or there's a string wrapped around your feet to the sky. See if you can find that feeling where your legs can just float. And then I'll give you a choice here. You can either just slowly lower your legs just like they are, or if you want to bend your knees a little easier and just stretch those legs out. Good, Shavasana, resting pose. Let your feet fall out to the sides. Arms are by your sides, palms towards the ceiling. I wish I was there to give you a drop of essential oil. We'll have to put that on hold. Good, but just close your eyes and just allow yourself to relax, to rest. And just feel the reward of your practice. Feel your breath, your chest rise and fall. And you're certainly welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like to. Slowly start to bring your awareness back. Move your fingers, your toes. Good. Take your time. Come back up. Come into a comfortable seated position. And that can be any position that's comfortable for you. Good. Take a moment. Close your eyes again if you'd like. You can relax your hands on your legs in your lap, or you can join me with your hands in front of your heart. Take a moment, congratulate yourself for taking time out to do this. It is always an honor. I miss you. I hope everybody is healthy, happy, We will do this again soon. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.